I'm here now with uh, Gustav Skarsgård and Mattias Varela, who just presented the first eclipse for, for, for an audience from their new film, 438 Days. Um, can you just please uh, describe what this film is to start with? So, uh, it's a true story um, about two uh, Swedish journalists, Martin Schibbe and Johan Persson, who in 2011 went down into uh, Somalia to illegally break into Ethiopia to cover a controversial story uh, that takes place in the Ogaden region, um, where there was a, a civil unrest because there was a Somali population, it's a majority Somali population area um, that is un under complete control from, from the Ethiopian army and government. Um, and then there's also, uh, there were also speculations of whether or not a Swedish oil company, Lundin Oil, well, they were speculating in the area um, at the time. Uh, and, and, and this area was completely shut down from Ethiopia's side. So they di didn't let any uh, journalists into that area. Uh, so they had to break in illegally because they wanted to, to cover it from the ground. So that's what they did. And then they were captured by the Ethiopian government with the ONFL um, rebels in the area and sentenced to, to prison for th terrorism. And that kind of sums it up, actually, to be honest. That's the entire <laughs> thing. And this story, this story happened uh, like nine years ago or something like that. And what, what, what do you remember from uh, when it happened? Uh, it was 2011. Uh, should I hold it? Yeah. Do you want to hold it? Okay. Um, uh, yeah, it was 2011. I ought to be around like 31, maybe 32 at the time. I remember it vividly. I mean, it was a big deal back then in Sweden, of course, maybe on a global scale, but especially... And for sure, it, it had a lot of impact in Sweden. I remember it quite well. Also being kind of worried, like, what's going to happen? Are they going to make it? I also remember being conflicted about how I felt about the fact that they actually entered the country and whether they were naive or not. That, of course, has changed uh, when I got involved with the project and realized that there were so many layers to their choice to actually enter the area. But I remember, and I, I will say it openly, I remember as a private person not being attached to the project uh, just feeling like wow that was quite naive like didn't you expect something to happen but then when you meet them when you get to know them when you learn about what they were doing and why from their point of view it seems like the right choice so that was yeah I remember it quite well um, this is this is quite a special special film uh, special roles I guess for you because uh, Many times when you portray real people, they are maybe very old or they are very, very dead. <laughs> and, um, and, these are <laughs> and these are two guys who are in about the same age as you and they are alive. And uh, how, how, how is that to portray someone who you can stand next to? Well, you don't want to embarrass them or yourself, <laughs> first of all. You know, um, there's that. Uh, you want to make them justice. Uh, but then, uh, having said that, you also have to make your own portrayal. Uh, it's not a documentary. Uh, but it's great to be able to meet someone who you're going to portray, and you can get the, the details from, from their perspective or the experiences that you're about to, to portray. It's, you know, it's the in, invaluable um, source of, of material for us. Uh, and then you can also, like, you can choose or how much you want to look like them, act like them, talk like them, or not. And you can pick the sort of the you know, the raisins from the cake of, of you know, to to make your own sort of amalgamation of you and that existing par character, because it's also like I mean they're not, I they're not we're not playing Charlie Chaplin or Winston Churchill here. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not like they're not iconic characters in that sense. So 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 I think it really serves the story if we can really, you know, um, bring our own hearts to the characters and to the story. And also the fact that me and Matthias are best friends since we were 12, 13 years old. So, so we already have that chemistry in place and that's, again, a, a huge resource for us. Um, yeah, I, you, you, you have been close friends for a very long time and this is a film about uh, also two men who is uh, very close and forced to be even closer maybe. How has your friendship uh, affected your portrayal of these two people? Well, I mean, in the words of Gustav, I think that it was uh, an uh, extraordinary source to, to 
take from. I mean, the, the difference between Martin and Johan's relationship is, as you said, they are they don't really know each other that well on a private level. They're more uh, their their contact is strictly professional, and then once they're in trouble, they're forced together. Uh, whilst me and Gustav's personal relationship is more of a choice that we made when we were kids. Um, still, I, I believe that a big portion of what made it so joyful for me on a personal level to portray the character is the fact that me and Gustav have the history and that a lot of stuff that we as actors have to work really hard to achieve contact, uh, uh, those nanoseconds it takes between an answer and an intake of a, of a line. Th those aspects of, of the job were already there because me and Gustav are spending so many years together, so much time also kind of forming each other as young actors, that that really simplified the, 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 the whole aspect of getting to know each other as actors. That, that was already done. Uh, on the other hand, it was almost a bit difficult in the beginning not to um, kind of let away too early to the audience that these guys are going to become very close friends. Because when they meet each other again, they are not so well adjusted to each other. They're very much their own individuals. There's an awkwardness, There's an awkwardness. between them that we don't have. Yeah, exactly. But, but that's yeah. Exactly. There's an awkwardness that's quite. Imp it's also quite important for the story that that awkwardness is there in the initial moments. So the payoff when they're forced to be physically so close to each other uh, becomes greater. Uh, and that was something that I think Jesper was very. Um, I wouldn't say concern on the on the uh, quite the opposite. He was very happy for that friendship that that already exists between us, but also very meticulous about making sure that, that you know little effort of trying to fit in with each other and that awkwardness that Gustav um, is talking about. That's very important for the movie, and that was um, that was different because we know each other so well. So we had to like act like we don't know each other that well for a second. But at, even so, I think that our friendship still helped the awkwardness, if it makes any yeah, sense. Because sure. it's easier to be vulnerable in front of somebody that you trust have your best interests at hand. Mm -hmm. And that is not, uh, regardless whether you're a professional actor or not, it's still kind of scary sometimes, you know, showing yourself in your most vulnerable state in front of a, of a different of another person. I mean, regardless who it is. So having your best friend there for this particular project um, was fantastic. Were you acting together when you were when you when you first met when you were kids and grew up? Did you act together a lot? No, not really. I mean, we did. I mean, we had different lives, as, but we also had the same one, and that was our friendship was very strong since we were thirteen. At, as life would have it, we would we, we walk different paths, but uh, we both ended up in Rome. And uh, I remember my childhood dialogue with Gustav being very, you know, it was very much a movie-based relationship where almost our real life moments will we would try to make life cinematic as kids would do. Very melodramatic kids, I guess. The fights would be very epic and bombastic, you know, and it would be very... Um, I mean, in my case, uh, in all honesty, it would not have been an easy task to become a professional actor if it wasn't for the fact that I became friends with Gustav at an early age. And that had ha, has had an, a, a very big impact on my life uh, personally, but may, mainly or specifically professionally. Um, the story is also a about, story about uh, journalism and the conditions for journalists to work. Um, uh, how, how, has, how, how have you uh, reflected on uh, this issue while uh, doing the film? Um, well, journalism at, it, at its best should be, the point of journalism is to monitor the center of power for the benefit of the people, the way I see it. 
uh, and that's not exactly always the case with journalism. Often uh, the point with journalism is a thoroughly commercialized industry meant to sell, to, to, to sell clicks or uh, advertisement and, and whatnot. And that's not what these guys are about. These, are, these guys are out there in the field trying to tell the stories that no one else has an economical gain of telling. Uh, to me, that's heroism. Um, and um, uh, portraying these people, um, uh, have you have you had contact with with Johan and Martin during the process? Yeah. Or, yeah. And uh, how has that how has that how has that been? Have have they like had the advice for you or something like that? Yeah, I think it. Uh yeah, I mean, they have not so much advice as maybe voiced uh, their, not expectations, but maybe hopes. Also voiced, I mean, in my case with you, one, he voiced some concerns, uh, which for me are totally understandable. It has to be, a, um, you know, quite a trip to see your, your own life become a book and then a movie and somebody's going to play you and not necessarily the person that you wanted to or or maybe it is so i really listened to you one and as gustav said before earlier in an interview they're real people they're our age they're coexisting human beings on this planet at the same time you know so it's hard not to feel responsible to portray them in a in a in a, in a manner that they will feel um, if not proud at least comfortable with that was very important. And also, as Gustav said, to me, they're kind of heroes. I mean, they're, I haven't portrayed a hell of a lot of characters so far in my career that have their priorities straight like these guys. These are good people. They've done this f for something larger than themselves. It's easy to write them off as guys who just wanted to have an adventure. That's not, that's not really what these guys are about. These guys are, are about something a little bit bigger and and worthier than two guys just wanted to have a wild, crazy adventure in Africa. That was not what, what they were trying to do. They were trying to tell a story that nobody wants to tell because there's no commercial value to it. And that is something that most people wouldn't do. So the, in that sense, I felt a lot of respect and, and admiration towards both of them, to be honest, because they, they have lived I think what they did was a, it's a dignified journey. I mean, we're naive maybe, but still. Yes, to answer your question, yes. It was very helpful. <laughs> you know, you get carried away. Yes, it, gets, it was very helpful meeting them, and they were very nice, and they were very involved, and, uh, and they were really sweet guys. It's, I, I really like these guys, and, and it's easy to, to, to portray somebody that you respect and like. And uh, you also had an adventure in Africa like that. Um, you shot not. Um, uh, you shot in South Africa mostly. Um, how was it working uh, there? Um, it was interesting. It was very, very professional. Um, extremely professional. Uh, we had a great first AD uh, who ran the show meticulously. Um, but then there's also, you know. Uh, it's, it's sort of a culture clash coming as a, a, a Swede to to South Africa. I mean, it's uh, it's sort of a microcosm of the injustices of the world, and it can be harrowing uh, for a Swede. Uh, we, we, we're living in one of the most equal countries in the world, and that's not the case in South Africa. Uh, and uh, and you gotta yeah, you gotta be tolerant somehow and and try to be non non-judgmental and not be moralizing based on the privilege that you yourself have you know experienced in your life um, and that's tough um, but um, but very professional um, yeah and n now you just uh, screened the first the clips for the f first time uh, a few three clips uh, from the film three scenes from the film for an audience for the first time how how is it uh, to see uh, uh, audience watch uh, these scenes from uh, an upcoming film i've never felt prouder over a project ever in my life
artistically or thematically, um, it feels great to show it. And, and I'm humble in this experience because it's not about showing off, you know. It's not about us being great actors. That was never the case. Often, sometimes, if, if, if you're in a production and everyone's just looking after themselves, and it's all about survival and everyone's trying to be as good as they can, you know, that can be really tough and, and, and sad. But this is not the case here. We all felt that we were part of something that was bigger than all of us, um, and we wanted to make the story justice. Um, and, and I think that's why I believe that it has reached artistic levels that I couldn't predict. And I'll ask the same question to you. How 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 is it for you to um, uh, show those uh, scenes for, for for an audience? Well, um, it's very joyful. It's I um, I'll be honest. It's very um, I'm very happy uh, with the project. I, it surpassed my wildest imaginations of what we would be uh, would be able to do. I think that I agree with Gustav. I do agree with Gustav when I say that it's. Um, most likely the one thing I'm proudest of professionally. I mean, I have a child, so that surpasses most things in life. But apart from that, I think this is the one project that I'm f happiest that I was able to become a part of it. Because it has something extra. Just the fact that it's just a story that needs to be told. Just that, just that in itself. You don't stumble across these kind of projects uh, so often. I've been doing this for almost 10 years now at a pretty high level. And it's just one of the best goddamn scripts I've read. I mean, it's just that easy. And it, I'm, I'm not talking about Swedish scripts or European scripts or American scripts. I'm talking about scripts. Scripts being written word. It's just such a powerful movie. And it's when I see the clips, I don't even recognize myself. And that's very weird, because it's me. And it's a hybrid between the friendship that me and Gustav have enjoyed so many years, and the fact that these guys exist, and that they were so humble and open to us, and invited us to play them uh, with all their flaws. Um, and also the taste that Jesper Gansland, the director of the movie, has. That For me, working with Jesper, was very good on a personal level. He's very brave and has impeccable taste, impeccable. It's almost scary. Sometimes he, does, he, he seems to know where you're going with the scene even before you ended up there. And that as an actor is fantastic because then you will not be able to hide behind techniques, behind mannerism, behind cockiness or insecurities that come out in every which way. And also, it's it's cool to see the clips because I feel they're, they're even better than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you, they came out better than I thought it was going to be. And I, 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 I felt good about it when we were doing it. But also, Sofia Olsen needs to be credited as well. Who, who She's not here today with us. She's the photographer. She's done a tremendous job. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, a, I'm a movie nerd. I'm, I've been that since I was a kid. When the first shot, when the U1 and the boys uh, and Martin and the Cossar and everybody come walking there, it's like it's apocalypse now. I don't know if you've seen the clip, but it's just that such a majestic landscape. And Sofia also really made our job really easy because this the shots are you can just I remember you can just walk into it and. The scene was already alive. Me and Gustav, we had the easiest job. The other people, there, also what Gustav said in there, which I thought was really funny, like you, into, you walk into a scene, they're already started. <laughs> they're amateurs, they're already being themselves. So you have to acclimatize. I mean, you cannot come and say, well, I am the lead actor, so this is what we're gonna do in the scene and we're going this direction. Because even before you have had the chance to vocalize the fucking idea. The rest of the cast, they're walking off set. They're doing something else. So you had to be realistic all the time. And I think the clips show that. All of that stuff with the camel milk and all of that stuff, that stuff that happened then and there, there's a hint of that in the script. But then the brilliant performance of these, uh, for lack of a better word, which I feel is a little bit like eh, but 
real people, sort of, because they're not professional actors. They're there because somebody told them, do you want to come? And they said, yes, be yourself for half an hour and we'll pay you. They do it with so, such a tenacity. They're so fucking real. So when I see the clips, what I'm doing, I'm just literally reacting on what they're doing and they're making my performance, at least from where I'm standing, uh, resonate true. But what it really is, is just a mirage of what they're doing. And that is something that's very complex. Uh, maybe the most complex way of working with acting is when you mix those two worlds, when you have professional people that have been doing this for a long time, and then you mix that with people that are very unpredictable, very, you don't know what's gonna happen. And um, too much fun, fantastic. I would do it again tomorrow if I had a chance. I would do it for free. No, I would not do it for free. <laughs> but I will do it uh, for a good price. Wonderful, thank you very much, Matthias. Thank you, Gustav, thank you very much.